this file. Let's just make it bigger here. Okay, so um, the first thing that uh, your manager wants to do here is to uh, insert a picture. And I think we did that a little bit, you know, nothing too intense about it. Um, so you're going to go to the merger, um, and then this is actually a smart art. Do you see that? I think we looked at smart art briefly, and the idea about smart art is that um, it allows you to compose these interesting graphics, like infographic kind of things. And uh, it's template driven, so you don't really have to be a great designer to do it, and then you can update things. So smart arts work usually in PowerPoint, most people use them, but you can use them obviously in any application. So the first thing is to insert a image. And I think actually, for some reason, I think that is the image. I don't know if I already inserted it or what. So um, let's go to insert and illustrations. And then you see you have all your choices here. Um, we're going to do picture from file. OK, and it's the Mac banner that I just downloaded here. OK, so it's not the same. It wasn't the same image, actually. It's the strawberries. Let's just go back and get that back up there. Okay, so there's the banner. And what you want to do with this is put it in A1. It has probably some type of text wrap on it. That's why it won't go there while the other one is there. They'll kind of push each other away. How did you get the image there? Because I saved mine to my computer and it's not like coming up. Did you save it as a Word file, the picture? No, the picture is a, I think it's a JPEG file. It's called yeah, Support EX19. Make sure you're using the right one because there are five files that come down yeah, with this one. I have the picture of the strawberry and I'm, I saved it. But. Um, so to get it into your um, spreadsheet, what you do is go to Insert, and then Illustrations, Picture, and Picture from File. So yeah. it's probably in your Downloads folder, and there it is. This is it right here. So when you double click on it, it should show up. Okay, so the next thing they want you to do is to adjust it. You can see it's a little on the dark side and it's not that crisp. So the, the first thing is with the corrections over here to do um, a brightness and contrast. So they want to increase both the brightness and the contrast by 20% somewhere in this area here. This is it, right? So increasing both by 20%, you can see that livens the picture up a little bit. And then there's also a sharpness, which is the top ones here. And what do they want for the sharpness? 50%. OK, it's more subtle, I guess, but that did it. OK, so then step three then is All right, Robbie well, needs. What's the first step, professor? Sorry. The, the, the first the step is to insert the actual. Oh, I did um, that. Strawberry um, banner, yeah. Oh, yeah. I meant the and first the, step. The, in the next correction. step was to adjust the brightness and contrast with the corrections here. So you, you're adjusting the brightness plus 20% and the contrast plus 20%. And then to adjust okay, the sharpness, 50%. Good. Um, let's see. The next thing then is to add a tight reflection. So these are the picture styles here. And I believe that, uh, well, let me just think about no, this, this is actually, I think, under here, right? So you go to picture effects, and this is the reflections. The first one is the tight reflection. Yeah, tight reflection touching. Okay, so that gives it this thing here, which is the reflection. It's actually touching. It's not, there's no standoff. That's what we're looking for on that guy. Can you show um, where that is? Now, one more time. The reflections, yes, yeah. they're under, um, well, the thing is that you have to click on the picture first. So see, when I'm not clicking on the picture, I have a different ribbon. But when I click on the picture, 
it reveals another tab on the ribbon called picture format. So clicking on that tab then gives you um, the adjust section here where we just made the corrections for brightness and contrast. And then in picture styles, you have this kind of cube and that's going to give you shadow, glow, reflection, rotation. Okay, so you pick the reflection one and then the first choice here is the one they want. Tight reflection touching and you get this little reflection here. Okay, so the next thing now is to adjust the smart art. So here is the smart art and he wants to add another shape um, and picture to the smart art. So remember, just like anything now, if we click on this, you'll see there's the smart art uh, tab that appears. And uh, you can add it with these guys too. Uh, smart art works in a kind of outline view, so you can promote and demote things using this. But I think if you go here, it might be a little easier. Um, this is what they want actually. So go to add shape. Okay, so he wants to add another shape and picture to the smart art. So we're going to go to add shape after. Okay, so you get a blank shape here. It's got a text box already formatted inside of it. Just want to make sure I'm putting it in the right place. After the DM shape. So let me just do it the right way. So I'm going to highlight the DM shape and then go to add shape. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and then in this shape, they want you to type 365 as the name. And there is a picture placeholder. So if you just click on the picture placeholder, here are uh, the files that I downloaded, and the one they want is the PNG file, which is this guy here. Professor? Yes. How do you, how do you get the smart or text? To pop up it doesn't do it automatically this online. thing here you're talking about yeah exactly that um you really don't even need that to tell you the truth um i think it oh, just okay. came up because i double clicked on it let me just go through all the steps again so the first thing mm -hmm. you do is select the smart art okay and then uh, you'll see the smart art design tab appear what we want to do is add a shape after the dm shape so with the dm shape selected here go to add shape add shape after Okay, and there's the shape. Notice that other thing didn't appear. That's more of like an editor to promote and demo. But remember, you can do things in different places. So I prefer to do it up here. Okay, so then you click. This is the text box. You can see each one has a text in there and a logo. So in the text on this one, it's 365. And then for the logo or the image, it's this one right here, the PNG one. So should I just insert text if it doesn't pop up or? Are you not getting it when, when you do that, those steps? Uh, no, it doesn't, it doesn't pop up. Click on the DM and then with, with, with the DM selected, do you see this over here where it says create graphic, add shape? Yes, that is up. Okay. Oh, I have so the shape in there. It's the typing that's the issue. The typing where it says 365? Yeah. Um, so just make sure you click right on that blue text box and it should okay. let you type something in there. See that? I'm going to try again. Try again. Absolutely. Okay. So we've got that. And, uh, the next step is to add another shape after the brand up shape. And this is like one of those ones I think where they tell you to add it and then take it away. So, uh, we're going to add another shape, same thing as shape after. Again, I selected that one. You'll see that it makes a shape right in there. And then uh, type tech in the new shape. Let's do that. Tech. Okay, then they say to demote it. So demote it will actually, if I'm thinking about this correctly, what's going to happen is it'll make it part of the one before it kind of like a subhead would, right, when you demote a slide, right? So let's see what happens when we do that. Yeah, see, it added the tech down here, and it actually deleted everything else. So that's the demote. If you don't see that demote coming up 
black, it's still grayed, make sure you just click right on the tech, uh, text box. That should make it work. Okay, so we demoted it and we're done with the first page. The next thing is to format the smart art. So this is pretty, pretty easy stuff actually. There's not much going on here except for uh, kind of cosmetic stuff. So the first thing you want to do is make sure your smart art is still um, selected and you have the toolbar there and they want you to change the color to accent one second choice. So accent one, it's this guy here I think. It's the one they want, the colored fill accent. Okay, so click on that and you'll see you know, it changes to that design and then apply the moderate effect smart style. So again, if you pull this down you'll see typically okay there it is moderate effects that's the one they want okay so that just changes just a little bit of the kind of attributes there and I think we're good so now he wants to include an image from a PowerPoint slide summarizing the four marketing companies so include the image as follows okay we're gonna do a screen clipping here so what I found with this is it's good to have both windows open together. So first thing I'm going to do is with PowerPoint, I'm going to open up the file. So let's just go to open and hopefully it shows up right away. Just go where you, you know, downloaded everything. And it's in, it's in downloads, actually, not documents. Yeah, this is it. Okay. So you can see right away it's a PPTX file open it up in PowerPoint and there it is and what I did that I thought you know worked out pretty well was to open up both of them together so you could see both of them together and with Excel's screen clipping um, it should oops sorry I'm going all over the place here so we go to again insert illustration and if you go to screenshot, you can also do a screen clipping. So click on that, and then you just grab the slide, and it will basically give you the aspect ratio you want. And once you do that, it should come directly in here. So there, yeah, there it is, kind of hiding a little bit, but it it, it happens automatically. Okay, you'll see it appear there, and then they want you to put it in I one. So just drag it right up, right up alongside the strawberries, pretty much. And you should be in business with that. Good? Okay. So that's a screen clipping. A lot of times, you, this is very useful, too, when you're kind of sending a spreadsheet that has relationships to other documents, and you just want to get a little piece of something in there, even something from the web. You can just do a screen clipping. But Professor, do you mind just repeating how you inserted the PowerPoint into the doc, please? Surely. Um, so let's delete it so we can do it again. And um, what I did is just to kind of resize so I could see both windows together. I don't know if you really have to do this. I just, you know, thought it was convenient. And then to set it up to do the screen clipping, it's again insert and in the illustrations group, you want to choose the last one, screenshot, but pull down and choose screen clipping. So a screenshot, but it's one that you can customize kind of. So we're using this little crosshair then, just do a diagonal right across the slide. And again, you could.